the time when the oceans drank Atlantis and the rise of the sons of Arius, there was an age undreamed of. And on to this, Conan, destined to bear the jeweled crown of Aquilonia upon a troubled brow. It is I, his chronicler, who alone can tell thee of his saga. Let me tell you of the days of high adventure. It's Max Power. Got another video review. This one is the PCS Pop Culture Shock Collectibles Conan the Barbarian one third scale. This is the uh, exclusive War Paint edition. They made a regular one without the uh, the, the paint on him, and they 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 did the Chrome set, which uh, for those that were lucky enough, uh, you get both. The war paint and the uh, without the the war paint on him, so really cool for those of you that got the the set. Uh, for me, I was just happy enough to get the war paint. I missed out on the sideshow collectibles, uh, one that they had a while back, and uh, I'm glad I did. I mean, I don't know, um, I don't have the other piece, so I can't say what the quality was on that, but. Definitely for me, bigger pieces are the ones that I like. So the fact that I was able to get this in the one-third scale makes me much happier than if I would have gotten the premium format one from Sideshow. So anyway, let's get to it. Uh, bringing in the camera close here to you guys so you can really get an idea of the detail that uh, Pop Culture Shock did on this one. Now this is a, a pretty big piece, uh, so it's kind of it's hard to film when you have a big piece like this, especially when you put it on a tripod. Uh, so it's much easier to film this way. But I started with the tripod and try to get in as much as I could from it. So let's spin them around so you guys can get a really good close uh, close up of him. The blood uh, that was done on him uh, looks really good. Really nicely done. Alright, let's get a close-up of Arnold's face. It's a little bit challenging with the sword being in the way, but... I do the best that I can here. All right, side profile. There we go. Like I said, it's hard to compare this to any other uh, statue out there, but from what I'm seeing, it looks really very very good you know with the war paint you really it doesn't have the details that I think the one that doesn't have the war paint that you could see pores and things like that but uh, you don't get that here with the war paint but uh, it just looks really good definitely they did a nice job on the paint uh, it doesn't look like it's painted like you know a statue paint it looks really natural on there uh there's some uh, little touches of dirt and grime on his uh, on the color so that makes it look really more of a natural uh that you would have seen in the movie 
initially I was a little bit concerned with the uh, this part of it, the paint, these things right here, because at first and uh, it just they look too perfect and too uh, unnatural. So I wasn't. I, I I looked back at the movie and I don't recall them being so symmetrical so perfect with the lines and everything i mean if this was being done uh naturally by hand i don't think you'd get those uh, those uh those patterns so perfect but um it's not bad in the sense that they did the paint really well so even though the markings are very perfect um a little bit unnatural in my opinion the paint that they did on it, I think that's where they really um, made it look a lot more, a lot better. Uh, just because in here, and of course in video it's hard to get the true details unless you have it in hand. But over here, uh, the color, it it's, it's like a, a matted dark uh, black. So, it's an, and it's not perfect. So you know that kind of gives you the sense that it's been you know hand painted pa hand painted on where certain areas do don't look as dark as uh, other areas so that's really i think uh, why it works uh, again this perfect lining here not so natural but the color scheme i think they did a fantastic job i try to get in a little bit closer so you can kind of get an idea what i'm talking about as you can see, there's some hues of brown and some uh, some areas where it's not as dark. So it's not uniform black on there. So it does give it that sense that it's uh, painted on by his own hand. As far as mixed media goes, this is a uh, they really did a good job on the mixed media. I love mixed media on my statues. So when they when a company does a good job, uh, I it makes me very happy because he does look like uh, like a true character right from the from whatever source that you're trying to get the character from. Uh, when it's sculpted, even the best sculpted work to me just doesn't look natural. Um, I don't know. That's maybe just for me. But when they when someone does mixed media and they really use some nice materials, which they did, this is kind of a leather, or it feels like leather. I don't know if it's leather, but it certainly feels like leather. Uh, this, you know, this uh, fur here, really nicely done. The the pants, just the fabric, you can tell is is just top notch, even down to the boots. I mean, all this is is a uh, leather or um, suede or or something so really nice nice work on that uh, from pop culture shock and this was a surprise here this is this feels like it's not i'm sure it's not real fur but it feels like fur you know kind of like the the uh, rabbit's foots that you used to get as a kid maybe uh in the vending machines so that's what it feels like real soft really nice so a really good job on the on this part of it the sheath i believe is what it's called there's a hole in here and you know i haven't tried putting the sword in there but i'm not sure but they they did make it so um there's a a slit there so maybe the sword can go in there i'm not too sure but of course if you were to put it in there and it does fit it would he would look weird without holding anything so Probably not something that you want to do. And the the blood on there, the blood spatter is very well done. The details of the sword. Get in here real close here. And the way it, and you know, I this is heavy. It's a little. It's it's heavier so i don't think it's plastic and i don't i don't think i'm sold that it's metal just 
doesn't feel like metal, but it's definitely heavier. So it might be like a heavier rest. And I could be wrong, but I know the 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 information online says that's metal. It just, you know, touching it just doesn't, you know, feel like it's metal, but it's definitely much heavier. So it's it's uh, whether it's metal or not, it's well done. So this comes in one this comes in one piece right here, one whole piece here, and then it it goes through the hand, uh, the the pommel here, and then you add the tip on here. So it kind of doesn't feel like there's a magnet there, but you know it just kind of slides in. So I'm not sure if, uh, if there is a magnet. It's just so not a very strong magnet, but it just fits in there fine. I don't think it'll fall. Okay, the sculpture of the hair, it looks good. I don't have any problems with it. There's a few areas where maybe uh, some spots, but, and then I looked at this, this area right here and it seemed like uh, maybe they missed a spot, but um, I'm not sure. I mean, it kinda, you know, all this, you know, if this is the real character is kinda, <laughs> hand painted on uh so you would you know there would be some areas where obviously it uh he wouldn't be able to get unless someone's doing it for him but even then it won't be 100 percent perfect so that little spot there no big deal if it was not done intentionally of course again with the war paint i love the war paint i really that's what i wanted to get uh, it'd be nice to see someone uh, put some, you know, maybe the one that's not to see really uh, the the details of the non-painted one. I did see someone online; they had a really good video, and on the on the body part, it looks like you could really see the pores. On the face, I didn't see that much detail, so I wasn't too sure if maybe it was the camera. But I think it looked great overall. All right, the base, uh, real nice. Just kind of the marble look to it. Really nice touch. This is kind of the same fabric as the mixed media here. Just kind of a, a either a fake leather banding there. The, the bottom of it, really nicely done as well. That's the beauty about the one-third scale, and I think that's why, you know, anything one-third scale, they really have the opportunity to, uh, if they're doing mixed media, to, to do a real great job on the clothing. So, you know, the bigger canvas they have to do the work is the better, in my opinion. So, you know, of course, the downside is it does take up quite a bit of space. I believe this one online says it's about uh, 29 cent, uh, inches. So I didn't quite measure it as I wanted to do this video as soon as I got it. All right, going back to more details, you know, everything, the, the muscle details real nice. Again, if you have the, uh, the unpainted war paint uh, you probably get to see a lot more detail on the muscle on mine this kind of came stuck a little bit because i was trying to move this and i noticed that the uh the leather strap had kind of bled over to the neck a little bit so just got to be a little bit careful for anyone looking at that so i don't know if you can see it but kind of move this and it was stuck on there as you can see left a mark on the paint so just be careful with that Okay, and I guess I was lucky enough on mine. Um, 
it came with the uh, the AP, so artist proof, so no edition size. So um, I guess I got lucky. Um, artist proof are supposed to be a little bit more exclusive, I think is what they say. So no number for mine. It's the artist proof of 275. All right, guys, that's all I have. Uh, you know, it's it's really kind of a simple statue in the sense of, of what it is. Uh, there's not a lot going on here. Uh, the mixed media is fantastic. The simplicity of it makes it even more spectacular because you, it's Arnold. What can you say? It's Arnold. I've always wanted to have a figure of Arnold statue or anything. Uh, so... I'm just glad I was able to scoop this one up. I'm not sure. I think the war paint is all sold out. The natural looking one, I believe that one's still available. And of course, a Chrom set, which comes with two, that's been sold out already. So if you have a chance and you like Arnold and you like Conan, or just really Arnold, uh, this is a fantastic representation of him. So... If you get a chance, if you still have a chance, pick them up. Definitely 100% uh, recommend this. Let's get one more shot of the sculpt, the face sculpt. I think that's about as close as I can get. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. I think maybe the eyes are a little bit too blue. He kind of has the kind of a vampire look to him. I'm not sure if Arnold has really that violet blue eyes. So, but you really can't see it from far away. But uh, other than that, that sculpt, that face, it's definitely Arnold for sure. Let's see if I can get around. Get a little bit more. There we go. And there's no denying that this is Arnold for sure. I think some of the little spots that I see uh, could be from the cart, the stuff that it came with, the styrofoam, so. All right. Alright guys, thanks for watching my channel. I'll talk to you soon. I like have, have a couple things coming in that I'm going to be sharing here um, pretty soon. So hopefully you stay tuned. Thank you, all to, thank you to all the subscribers out there and really anyone that takes the time to, uh, to watch my videos. So see ya.